So in the series of learning Python programming language, in the previous video, we have seen one coding exercise of automatic pizza order program. In this video, we will also see one coding exercise and that is a little bit difficult for you guys, but I am sure it is very interesting. So we will make a love calculator. I am damn sure this technique you have then you have used at least once in your lifetime to calculate your true love, your bonding, right? So you have to write a program to find out the bonding between you, means you and him or her, right? Now what is the technique? You just write down your name and his and her name, then we calculate like this. Suppose let's take directly one example. So here we have taken two names, suppose Ankit Rao and Nisha Jain. So how many times T occurs in both the names? Only once. And R, only once. U, no, zero. E, no. L, no. O, yes, one. V, no. E, I think, no. This is the case, how many times these letters occurs in your names? Just have to calculate then, add up these, true, add up this, 1 plus 1, 2, add up these, 1, means 21%. So this is how you have to calculate your love score, right? I am sure you have used this technique, but you have to write down this thing in program. Now the hint is, see, this is capital A and this is small a, right? So maybe in your in your uh, you know names one is capital T and one is small t so whenever you will count so first of all you have to because uh, python is case sensitive so this capital T or capital A and small a both would be considered as different character right so first convert the number your names in lower case right so for that you have to use lower function how to use this function let me just tell you Suppose I am writing J E double N Y and dot and lower. The string you want to convert dot lower and this will give, whenever you print it will give Jenny in small letters, right? Now for counting, like suppose you have to count T R U, you will use count function. So how you will use that count function? Suppose in Jenny I want to count like J E double N Y. And suppose this is capital N, this is small n and this. This is string dot count and I want to count n, small n. So just the letter in single quote to double quote as you wish. This is the method, this is the syntax, right? Now this will give you, print this thing, this will give you how many times small n is there in my name, only one. Because this is capital N. Right? And capital N, small n both are different because Python is case sensitive. Right? That is why I am telling you first of all convert your name in lower case. If I have converted this in lower case then that would be Jenny and this time it will give you 2. Right? So you have to use lower function and count function. This is how you can use these functions. Right? And this is the technique. You have to count these things then add up and the percentage but after that one more thing you have to do based on your love score you have to tell like if your score is love score is less than 10 or greater than 90 means you have just have to print your score is like uh, 21 or between uh, like less than 10 is your score is suppose 95 95 and you go together like cock and mentos like a blast if your score is second condition is uh, between 40 and 50 means you have to just print your score is this and you are all right together right and third for all the other love score you will just print the score nothing else you need to tell your score is this right so this is what you need to print. I know this is little bit tricky one. Yeah, it's very interesting when you calculate your love score, but when you convert this thing in program, then it would be a little bit tricky. So just pause the video, think the logic, maybe you can draw a flow chart and try out this thing, right? If you are not getting, you are stuck, take a break 10 to 15 minutes, then come back again and write down this program before going to the solution. Just try out, at least give your best, right?
and yes one more hint is these are two names so we'll take two input like name one what is your name name two what is his or her name so we have to like count t in both the names these are two strings separate separate so better to combine these string first like combined string how you can combine like you can concatenate simple i think you know using plus you can combine these strings and then after combining that would be one string only and then you can search these thing in that combined string that would be easy for you right and maybe suppose uh, the, the name jenny the name is in a variable name so you can also write down this thing the variable name name or any variable you take dot lower that is also fine this will work and here also you can take the variable name name dot count n this is some kind of hint now let's try out this program so i hope you have done this exercise now let's see the solution let's create a new file coding exercise coding exercise 10 dot py right so at first obviously we will take the input two input right like name one two inputs we will take and we will store this in two name name one and name two right so first before counting let me just combine the string first right that would be easy after combining that would be easy for you to calculate to count those uh, letters t r u e and l o v e so combine underscore string right or combine name any variable name you can take and for combining simply name one how you can combine and name two plus name two that's it that is concat concatenation or combining of two strings right now another thing another is first convert it into lower case so lower case string equal to how to convert that combined string you want to convert the combined string into lower case combined string dot lower function that's it now we are done now you have to count use count function so first we will count t in lower case string the final is now lower case string so how to count what is the thing first the name of the variable lower case string dot count and what you need to count t in single quote or double quote you can write and after counting obviously <coughs> we will store that in a variable suppose a variable t i am taking right same thing t r u e l o v e same line you have to write so this is how we have written t r u e and lower string lower case string dot count t r u e now just have to add up what is that sum of t r u e separate separate right so uh, i'm writing a variable suppose i'm taking true true equal to t plus r plus u plus e okay now same for l o v e we have calculated separate separate l o v e the occurrence of these letters and i'm taking a variable name suppose love and there i'm just i'm just adding these numbers right so one digit is now we have true and one is love we have the digit now you have to combine these two it's not like that like true in our case is what two and for love it was one so it's not like that two plus one is equal to three no we just have to combine two one when you, once you combine then it should be 21 not three so this happens when you combine strings right but these are integers because two is integer in our case in our example right and one is also integer so if you will do two plus one like true plus love then it will give you three so for concatenation you have to convert these into strings like str true plus now just combine these and just save this into suppose love score in a variable love score fine now we got 21% now 
you have got the love score now you can simply put the condition if so what is the condition if the love score is first condition was less than 10 or love score greater than 90 so you just have to print you will print your score is love score using f string and you go together like oak and mentos right second condition lf love score between 40 and 50 so love score greater than equal to 40 and now at this time and these are logical operators we have discussed and love score less than equal to 50 here we have used or and here we, will, here we have used and so what you will print here your love score is this and you are all right together and any other love score simply you need to print their love score that's it so now let's run this and see you're getting output correct output or not same we will be taking like ankit rao and here we will take nisha jain okay we got an error it's type error See this less than not supported between instance of str and int here okay see now one problem is there we have converted this true and this love in string format because you want to concatenate that thing right now these are in string format and we are comparing this love score less than 10 now love score is string and this 10 is integer so we cannot compare these things so again you need to convert this love score into int for putting this condition right so either you can write down in next line int love score is equal to int and in bracket you can write down this simple this variable love score or directly in the same line you can convert this into int like after concatenation convert that into int i hope you got this right now let's run this again so name ankit rao and uh, nisha jain see your love score is 21 and we have calculated it was 21 so it is not this condition is not true this condition is also not true that is why we are just printing love score and see i have taken these names just random names if these names are matching with your name then it's just a coincidence right so i hope you have designed your love calculator and you have you know calculated already your love score right almost 90 percent of you guys i know so in the next video we'll see list in python so now it's in the next video till then bye bye take care